Okay, everybody, I want to talk about the brown bunny. And this is not an easy task, but I have heard this film described as the worst movie ever made. The worst piece of trash to ever hit celluloid. Pretty harsh words. The director, the filmmaker, uh, he wrote, directed, starred in, produced it, Vincent Gallo. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way. He does and says things that are disturbing and make you cringe. He's that type of a guy. He's very polarizing. Now, this film is also described as one of the most controversial films in American history. And this film is forever shrouded in the controversy. And the primary hoopla here is that the star, Vincent Gallo, receives oral sex from Chloe Sevigny. And it's very explicit. And this wasn't a secret. The controversy, there were billboards put out. I mean, Gallo was in your face with this. He had uh, billboards on Sunset Boulevard depicting the scene in, in as much detail as they could get away with on a billboard. It is a very disturbing scene, but it's not done in really even a sexual way. It's not intended to arouse. Like I said, just tons of negative press and, and opinion and, and people just trashing this film out there. And I, I wanted to defend this film because typically when you read these people who really hate this film, they use a lot of the standard pejoratives. Okay, It's self-indulgent. That phrase really gets me because if there ever was an act of self-indulgence, it is the self-appointed authorities out there who want to sit up on their perches and cast out these morally weighted phrases as if they are somehow the the authority on on what is and isn't uh, art and good art and most of the time these don't these people don't create a, a goddamn thing and they just demonstrate their lack of of creativity by regurgitating these same old stupid phrases like self-indulgent and it's pretentious. I don't blame people for disliking this film and I understand why people are uncomfortable with it but this film is not a typical film. Okay, It's not a film with extravagant sets and uh, lavish wardrobes and clever and witty dialogue. This is a raw, stripped down film here that gets us into the mental state and emotional state of the character. And it does it in a way that we're not used to. It has a plot, but it's not a plot that's delivered in a standard formula. It moves along slowly as Gallo brings us in to this character's world, okay? And he shows the scene prior to the big reveal at the end. And he puts us even deeper in the psychological constructs of his character. And then we get the revelation at the end. And yeah, it's a disturbing scene. It's disgusting in a way. You know, and that's the point. You get the disgust that is going on inside this character. And Gallo's made us feel this on a visceral level. He hasn't explained this to us in the ways that we're used to. And he challenges us to question our whole entire construct of, of what is and isn't a movie. And I thought this is pretty fucking brilliant filmmaking. And Gallo uses this uses the sexuality here too to, to mock the society as well, the sexuality of the society. And, and how much we tolerate empty, shallow sexuality in our society through billboards and advertising. Yet the second some, someone comes along and gets, says in your face, yeah, this, then, then it's an uproar. I mean, you want to talk about pretension, Gallo's pointing out the, the social pretension. So, 
don't get me wrong, I understand why people are, are just super uncomfortable with this film. I was cringing with this film, so I get it. But I think that's the point here, because Gallo brings up a lot of topics that will forever be talked about when, when you discuss the brown bunny. All right, everybody, it's Jay Crash.